Hey guys, thanks for watching and welcome back to Loving It on Phuket. In this video, we're going to talk about Mount Urca or Moro da Urca in Rio de Janeiro. Moro da Urca or Mount Urca, which is also called Urca Hill, is a peak situated in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, at the mouth of the Guanabara Bay with a height of 220 meters or 770 feet. To get to Moro da Urca, we're going to have to head down to South America the country of Brazil. From there we're going to go to Brazil's largest city, Rio de Janeiro, to the Urca neighborhood. Moro da Urca is located directly next to Sugarloaf Mountain. Moro da Urca is one of several granite and quartz mountains around Rio de Janeiro. The area is protected by the Sugarloaf Mountain and Urca Hill Natural Monument, created in 2006 which became part of a World Heritage Site declared by UNESCO in 2012. Visitors are able to reach the top in several ways. At the top of Moro da Urca, there are several things to see, including vintage cable cars, cafes and shops, animal life, and of course the view down onto the ocean and Rio de Janeiro. Moro da Urca is fully accessible for those who have mobility impairments or if you happen to have a young child in a stroller. And there is a large viewing area around the top, allowing for ease when it comes to social distancing. Visitors are able to get to the top of Moro da Urca in several ways. The most popular way is taking the Sugarloaf cable car from the base of the mountain to the top. The first leg of this ride, up to the top of Moro da Urca, only takes about two minutes. And with a full round trip ticket, you can ride up to the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain as well. For a look at Sugarloaf Mountain, check out the teaser card at the top of your screen. Another way to get to the top of Moro da Urca is to climb it. This can be accomplished in two ways. The most difficult, and possibly most rewarding, is to scale the mountain with a guide. Visitors are able to literally climb up the side of this small mountain in a short period of time by booking a tour. The most economical way to get to the top of Moro da Urca is to take the trail, or trilla, that runs up beside the beach. There is no fee for taking the hike, however, if you plan to take the cable car up to Sugarloaf, or if you are planning to take the cable car back down and plan to pay in cash, you should secure a ticket before embarking on the hike. At the top of Urca, you can only pay for a ticket using a major credit card or compatible bank card. The hike up Urca took me about 20 minutes if you don't count the time I took to stop and look around. It is not the most challenging hike you will find in Rio de Janeiro, but it is certainly not for someone with health issues or mobility problems. Most of the hike involves walking upstairs, and with the humidity and heat, you can find it will really get your heart pumping. For a full look of the hike up Moro da Urca in 360 as a virtual tour, tap or click the teaser card at the top of your screen. Once you get to the top of Moro da Urca, you will find there is a fair amount to see for being a small and unpopular mountain top. The first thing I noticed was the cable car display located directly next to the cable car exit. There, they have a couple of cable cars used over the years on display. Behind those, there is a nice viewing area for looking out off the mountain. There were two cable cars on display when I was there. The first was a vintage car. I'm not sure of the date that this car is from. The second car is a more updated version and similar if not the same as the ones that are in use today. One thing that I thought was really neat was the display they had during the Christmas season. The car had a bed and decorations placed inside it, making it look like an old English bedroom waiting for St. Nick. The wait wouldn't be too long because over near the edge of the viewpoint there was a cartoonish Jolly Santa standing and waiting to go distribute some gifts. The view from Moro da Urca was more impressive than many of the views that I saw around Rio. I'm not sure if it was because it seemed less cluttered than when you go up Christ the Redeemer, or if it was because being lower allowed the other mountains to obstruct the view of the city beyond, but I enjoyed the view and many of the photos that I took from there. You can even get a good view of Sugarloaf Mountain, and we all enjoyed watching the cable cars zip back and forth between the two peaks. The view of Christ the Redeemer when it is a cloudy day was also very impressive, especially late in the day when the sun added some shadow to the clouds. Although the view off the sides of Moro da Urca is nice, it isn't actually the best thing you can see while you're up there. The hilltop is teeming with very interesting wildlife. The first animals I noticed were marmosets, 
These adorable little round monkeys just showed up out of nowhere and decided to walk the length of the guardrail. That was the first time I had ever seen a marmoset up close in the wild. As I followed them along the mountain's edge, I was given another interesting treat. There were these extremely active lizards, defying gravity, chasing one another around the side of the mountain. I was able to get some interesting shots of them and spent a good 20 minutes just watching them carry on and run around. There are also a couple cafes located around the mountaintop. And if you want to take a helicopter tour, there is a helipad at Moro de Urca. Tours are available all day for a price. Although it was closed when I was there for the COVID-19 pandemic, it should be noted that there's a small playground for children as well. Social distancing is pretty easy while walking around. Moro de Urca doesn't carry the fame that Sugarloaf and Christ the Redeemer do. So even though there are many people in transit to get up to Sugarloaf's peak, it is not nearly as busy. The whole trip is completely accessible, and if you have a mobility impairment or a young child in a stroller, it's quite easy to get about. There's even a small cable car that will take you from the upper to lower part of Urca's Peak. This is very handy if you are unable to take the stairs. Because of all of this, Mount Urca is an attraction that is set up for everyone. It should also be noted that inside all of the elevators and cable cars, there's hand sanitizer for cleaning your hands. I found Moro de Urca to be greatly underappreciated and almost overlooked at times as a must-visit place. It is included with the trip to Sugarloaf, and I think because of that, it doesn't get the recognition it deserves. For a budget traveler, it is a completely free attraction if they hike up and back down the trail. The view from the top is far nicer and less cluttered than the view from other peaks you may find in the area. Because it is so accessible, I think anyone visiting Rio de Janeiro should check it out. Moro de Urca, although as part of the Sugarloaf experience, seems to be a hidden gem that is right out in the open. When you plan your trip to Sugarloaf Mountain, be sure to add an extra half hour to enjoy Moro de Urca. Thanks for watching Loving It on Phuket. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications so you'll know when the next video is posted. In the meantime, check out some of these other great videos from Phuket, Thailand, Southeast Asia, and beyond. Happy traveling!